Let's f- finish off with my favourite segment, the Super Coach segment. We're going to have a look at everyone's must-have player for a huge Big Bash uh, round two. We've got the Adelaide Strikers, I believe, are the only uh, double. So they've got two games in round two. All the rest of the teams have one. But we're going to have a look at a few players that are worth picking uh, for this week. So who have you got? I'll start with you, Leo, actually. Who have you got as your must-have player for Big Bash Super Coach round two? I think Matt Short is the obvious one. Uh, so I'm going to go a little bit riskier and pick Chris Lynn. I haven't done my mm. trades yet, but I, I will I will tonight. I'll, I think I'll bring him in. He'll bat at three. He averaged 54 super coach last season. So with a double in round two, he's shaping as a player that will score 100 plus based off his average. Yep. And I think he made uh, owners sort of or coaches uh, pl- pay last year for not picking him at the start. So he started at 112000 and he went up in price by 55000 Wow. So mm. I, I'm leaning to not wanting to make that mistake again, especially batting in that top order where I feel like Darcy Short might be out early. Uh, we'll see, though. He might prove me wrong. But he might, in my opinion, he'll be coming in early and having more time to face uh, deliveries and I think this Thunder bowling lineup who they play first I don't think they're going to be uh, too threatening for him but well, yeah we'll see so he, he's my pick for for this round what about you stats guy uh yeah I'm gonna go Zaman Khan really left field one here but I didn't uh, really know too much about him but he uh, was really dominant in these first game from Pakistan known as the king of the death overs uh, I think he calls himself that a few of the other uh, t20 comps and t10 comps he's dominated at just bowling Yorkers at the end of an innings. Uh, he is, how much is he? 112,800. I think that's a bit of a steal. He went up in price after he's two for 31 and 55 points in the first game. Uh, he's got the slinger malinga type action. I think maybe that's part of the reason I just want to pick him just because he's so fun to watch and I love uh, following people <laughs> you, that bowl like you love that. Your, yeah, you love your, your weird your weird bowls, weird actions, don't you? Yeah, I, I think I've got Dooley. I might have to get uh, Peter Atoglu in there. I've got yeah, Zaman Khan now. might have to get Nathan Ellis. He does the old double arms, double arm action. Uh, might have to actually, we'll do a video for the socials about that. I might recreate all these. Uh, <laughs> definitely not to Zaman Khan or Nathan Ellis's pace, but I reckon we should uh, do that in the net. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, I just think he's a bit of a steal. I think he's a T20 specialist. He just goes around the world, bowls Yorkers at, at the death. Uh, even though he's facing the strikers this week, I reckon he could get a few wickets. A lot of his wickets are going to be the tail when he just bowls at the end. He's going to bowl in those last uh, couple of overs, especially that last over. And as we've seen in uh, almost every big bash season, if you're a death bowler, you're going to get a few more wickets just because you can bowl into the tail or bowl into guys that just want to hit, try and hit you out of the park. He's got the perfect Yorker. So 112,000, I think, is a bit of a steal. And then he could be also a bit of a cash cow and go up in price as well. A bit of Zaman Khan. Watch, watch this space for him. Uh, all right, hmm. Marcus, who, who are you going? Well, yeah, Leo touched on him, and I'm, I'm going to focus on the, the double round here in particular, uh, Adelaide yep. being the only team. And I think Matt Short, even though he's expensive, 244000 um, it's pretty self-explanatory. He was, he was brilliant last season, um, goes at a high strike rate, hits boundaries. Um, yep. So he'll get extra points for strike rate. Um, so I think... Over two games, he's almost a, a must-have to have in your have in your team. But I also want to touch on perhaps maybe Jamie Overton as well for the strikers um, all rounder, so he can get points with both bat and ball. Um, if he's going to bat, he's going to come in late in the innings most likely, so he's going to have to press on a bit, get that higher strike rate. Um, and at a price of one hundred twenty-five thousand, he it could be worth it for for round two with Adelaide, the only team having the double round. Nice. Yeah, I, I really like both of those. I got Short as my captain just because he's going to bowl a few overs as well. He's the all-rounder that uh, dominated last year, especially with the bat. So if he can find anywhere near that form that he had last year, I think he's going to be captain uh, for a lot of games this, this uh, Big Bash season.